Imagine a plugin that allows you to run both manual and automatic backups, store those backups in the cloud, and even lets you migrate content from one website to another. And then imagine this plugin being completely free. Sounds too good to be true, but it's not. This is real. Well, hello and welcome to the Bit Monkey Show. My name is Alex, and every now and then, I do come across one or two plugins that are relatively unknown, but are really, really good. Think of them as hidden gems. And today I am going to review one of such plugins. And this plugin is known as the WP Vivid Backup Plugin. It is by the WP Vivid team. And this is a plugin that you can use for creating backups. And it's really, really good. Unfortunately, though, we only have about 300 active installations, which is kind of ridiculous considering just how impressive this plugin really is. But it's not just about making backups. You can also do automatic transfers as well. Uh, you can clean up your site as well using this plugin. You can migrate, you can restore, and you can even make backups to cloud storage. So for example, you can make a backup to your Dropbox account, your Google Drive account, and so on. And best of all, this plugin is actually free. That's right, it's completely free. Every feature I've mentioned is available for free when you use this plugin. So what I wanna do in this video is to show you exactly how you can make use of this fantastic plugin. Now to do this, I'm gonna make use of one of my sample sites, which is themoviecharacters.com. And it's basically just a blog with some dummy content. I'm gonna go over to the back end. All right, I have already installed the plugin you can see right here it's wp vivid and i'm going to go to settings now in here you've got access to some really cool features and the very first one here is the compressed files every tool now you may have already known this already but uh, lots of web hosting companies tend to provide a cap or a limit as to um how much you can actually upload or backup things like that so in here right now, you've got the ability to compress files once they reach a certain kind of size. So as an example right now, let's say your web hosting provider has a limit of like 200 megabytes per file. You can simply come in here right now and say, okay, well, compress my files every 199 megabytes. This way you can split your big backup into many parts and you're able to successfully make a backup of your site. So this is are really, really cool. In here as well, you've got the access to exclude the files, which is larger than. So let's say you've got some really large files on your site, maybe they're videos, they're like a gig, two gigs. You can simply come in here and then state the maximum size of files that you want to make a backup, a backup of. Uh, zero right here by default means there is no limit. But you can simply come in here right now and say, okay, 10, 24 megabytes, which is one gig. So any file that's one gig and above will not have a backup. Now in here, you've got the PHP script, uh, script execution time out. So it says with the execution time exhausted, our plugin will shut the process of backup down. All right. So it's very, very important here. If you do have a very large website with lots of data, you may want to change this to maybe, I would say 300 seconds, which is five minutes or maybe even 600 seconds, which would be 10 minutes. This way, you would avoid the plugin timing out the backup process while it's still trying to execute. So there's one important thing, thing to note. In here, you've got the backups retained number. The default is three. Keep in mind that the more backups you have, uh, the more space will be occupied by your backup. So you don't want to go overboard with this number here. Two or three uh, would be ideal. In here, you can also change the default folder where your backup files will be stored. You can see the path right here. So it's gonna be uh, your URL and then WP content and then the WP Vivid backups folder, but you can change the name of the folder to something else uh, if you wanted to. In here, you can choose how you can archive your backups. If you're like most people that have the shared host and environment, you want to stick with the only archive without compressing. However, if you're using the high-end dedicated hosting environment, then you can go with the compress and archive. 
If you'd like to get email reports whenever a backup has failed or a backup was successful, you can come in here right now, tick the box, add your email, test it out, but make sure that you do have an SMTP, SMTP plugin already uh, configured on your site. Let's move on. All right. In here, we've got the clean junk feature. You can clean out unnecessary files on your website, the logs, the cache, temporary files, just tick the boxes and click empty. So this is a really cool plugin for also cleaning out unnecessary information or data on your site. And then finally in here, you've got the export and import settings. If you're very happy with the plugin, you've configured it and you're really happy and you have a second website where you'd like to do the same thing, all you need to do right here is just export the settings and then go to the other site, go to import and then simply import the file that you've exported from your first site. So this is exactly how uh, this feature actually works. Really awesome. I'm going to go ahead now and save my changes. Oh, sorry. I need an email address because I ticked the uh, enable email report. I'm just going to uncheck this box. Let's come back down here and save my changes. And okay, awesome. Let's move on. Now, what I want to do right here is to show you how you can configure remote storage, all right? The cool thing about this plugin is that for free, you can actually make your backups and store them either in your Google Drive, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, Amazon, and even Digital Ocean Spaces. Really cool, right? So what I want to do here is to show you how you can actually configure these. I'm going to go with the Google Drive as an example. So in here right now, you can add a name for your Google Drive. So I'm just going to call this the G Drive one as an example. And then you can also set it as your default remote storage if you wanted to. I'm going to go ahead now and click on authenticate with Google Drive. So you want to make sure that you're signed into Google. So I'm going to do this. Let's sign in. And then of course you will have to provide Oh, sorry, I had an authorization error. Ha 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 ha. All right, let's try this again. I'm not sure why that happened. Let's do this again. Okay, there you go. <laughs> it's Google. Google can be really funny uh, sometimes. All right. So you'll get this message from Google asking, hey, would you like to grant this plugin permission to manage the files and folders? I'm going to say allow. Yes. And there you go. I'm going to go ahead now and click allow one more time. So this way right now we've given the plugin permission to store backups on our G drive. Let me just do one more as an example. Let's go with Dropbox. So again, I'm going to come in here right now and say uh, Dropbox one just to give it a name. Let's authenticate with Dropbox. And of course, you should already have an account with Dropbox. You should be signed in ideally. So again, you will get this message saying, hey, do you trust this app? Yes, we do. Let's click continue. Let's click allow. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba, ba. And there you go. Awesome. So if we go back to remote storage right now and we scroll down here, you can see that we've got Google Drive activated and we also have Dropbox activated. However, I'm sorry, we've got them configured. However, we can only activate one at a time. You can activate both Google Drive and Dropbox at the same time. So we have to choose one. So in this case right now, I'll just go with the Google Drive as an example. Let's save my changes. Okay. Now let me show you how you can actually run the backup to Google Drive. I'm going to go over here to backup and restore. So in here right now, you've got access to two things. First of all, what would you like to backup and then where would you like to run the backup to? You've got access to the database plus files, which would be your entire website. All files are only the database. I'm going to go with the database and files. And now in here, I'm going to go with send backup to remote storage. And you can see Google Drive is active. It's showing that yes, we've configured Google Drive. So I'm going to click in here right now and then check this out. I'm going to go ahead, click backup now. So it's basically making the backup and it's going to send it to Google. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll resume once the backup has been completed. All right, welcome back. And as you can see right now, the backup has been done. And if I go to my drive, there you go. You can see it right there, WP Vivid Backup. I can open it 
and here right now is my backup. My backup has been stored in my Google Drive account. So you can see right now that the cloud storage actually works. Uh, you're more than welcome to try this out with Dropbox, Amazon, Microsoft, Microsoft OneDrive, or whichever account that you've got. Now, you can also choose to just make backups locally. This will go straight to your web server if you wanted to. Uh, make sure save backups to local is checked. And then every time you run a backup, you will have access to them down here. You can choose to download the backup, or if you have the backup stored elsewhere, you can simply click on the upload button in here and then simply just drag and drop the uh, download or the backup in here and then the plugin will do the rest. Pretty awesome, right? Now, finally in here, we've got the auto migration tool. This is a really cool feature with which you can use to transfer the contents of one site to another. Now to demonstrate this, I have another site here opened up, which is portal.taskopedia.com. And as you can see right now, this is just a very blank, fresh installation of WordPress. So I'm going to try and transfer all the contents I have on my site here, which is the movie characters. I'm going to transfer everything over to this site. Now, in order for this to work, I would need to install and activate the Vivid Backup plugin on the destination site, which is the portal.askopedia.com. I have already done so. You can see this is the plugin right here. But what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go over to key down here. I'm going to click on key. And now in here, I'm going to click on generate. All right. So in here right now, I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to copy this information. I'm now going to go back to my source. Let's go over here to the vivid settings. Let's go to auto migration. All right, and now in here, I'm going to go ahead now and paste the content. I'm going to go ahead now, click on save. So right now I am ready to transfer the contents of my site to portal.taskopita.com. I can choose what I'd like to transfer. If it's going to be the entire website, maybe only the, the, the database or maybe only the files. I'm just going to go ahead now and transfer everything. So I'm going to go ahead now and click on transfer. And this might take about 15 seconds. So I'm just going to pause the video and I'll resume once it is completed. Alrighty, welcome back. And as you can see right now, the transfer has succeeded. So to restore it on portal, I'm going to come over here and I'm basically going to refresh and I'm going to go over to backup and restore. And now let's scroll down here. And there you go. You can see we've received the backup for movie characters. So from here, I'm simply going to go ahead now and click on restore. And now in here, you've got two options. Uh, you can either choose to restore and replace the original domain with portal.taskopedia.com. Uh, what this simply means is we'll just transfer all the files from movie characters over to portal.taskopedia. Or we can choose to restore and keep the original domain unchanged. Basically, the second option will change the URL of portal.taskopedia to uh, moviecharacters.com. But we want to keep portal taskopedia.com so we'll go ahead and choose the very first option so we'll just move the content from our um, movie characters over to portal .taskopedia. so let's go ahead now and hit restore are you sure yes we are sure and uh this would take a few seconds uh let's just wait and see what happens and um i think it's about to finish <laughs> Okay, I let's just wait. Okay, there you go. So it says we still complete successfully. Click OK. And well, there you go. Now you can see that portal .com has the exact same content as uh, the movie characters .com, as you can see. So we were able to just simply transfer all the data, all the content from movie characters over to portal.taskopedia.com. So that's exactly how you would use the WP Vivid plugin to run your backups, both manual and automatic. Uh, this is how you would use the plugin to transfer content from one site to another. And of course, I've also shown you how you can use the plugin to clean up content, uh, unnecessary content from your databases. So to round this up, let me just show you one last cool feature they have regarding support. If you come down here to WP Vivid and you click on website info, 
in here they've got a really cool support system if you're having any troubles using the plugin you can come in here and add your email and then simply send the debug information to them if you do have smtp already configured if you don't have smtp all you need to do is just download all this information in here by clicking on the download button and then send it to them via email. So they've got a really cool support system going on. So really, this is an excellent all-in-one plugin for backups, restoring, migration, and it's free. You can actually save content onto your cloud accounts for free. It's just amazing, really. So I would highly encourage you to check out this plugin. It is relatively unknown, but it's really, really good, as you can see. So be sure to check out the WP Vivid backup plugin today. Download it give it a test and I'm pretty sure you will not be disappointed. So that's it. That's been a review of the WP Vivid Backup plugin. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Share this video if, for, with anyone whom you feel might benefit from it. My name is Alex. It's been a pleasure bringing you this review and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.